Well, aren't armor trims just absolutely fantastic? As soon as I saw these, I actually didn't know what they were. I had no idea. They make you look, your armor just looks so cool. Well, I'm inspired. I really am by armor trims. And we thought we needed a place to go to upgrade your armor trim. We wanted to make it look just absolutely fantastic. We toyed with the idea of making 16 or 17 statues and putting the armor trims onto them. And then we thought, no, wait a minute. We've got an obelisk. We can adapt our obelisk from the desert city and put the armor trims, make little pixelized versions of them. Shout out to Sarasvan who designed an absolutely amazing set of armor trims. The ones I've made, not so cool as hers, but we think we've got 16 armor trims plus the netherite upgrade trim. And we've slapped them onto this. What do you think? It's a big obelisk on our server. It's going in front of our library near the Enchanter's Tower. Big statue on top. Shout out to... I'll put it in the description. I can't quite remember who designed the statue on top, but it's from our Elven City. And there we go. Some magma in the sword. And we are complete on a very good looking obelisk. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That would really help me out at this point. There we go. I think it looks awesome. We're going to take you on a little tour and show you how it works from the inside. But what a great way of displaying all the armor trims in Minecraft. Is that sheep stuck? What a shame. We shall rescue the sheep, but have a look at that. That is a towering tower. Let's have a look inside and I'll show you the tower on the outside in a second as well. We've got a little shop plug in so you can actually buy these armor trims instead of having to search for them yourself. If you bring along 10 diamonds, uh, you can buy one of those trims and then of course you could use it on your armor. So this is the inside of it. Shout out to Lincidius for helping to design this awesome little furnace here. And of course you bring your trims over to the armor. It's a smithing table. It is right there. Isn't that cool? It's cool to have a shop plug-in and uh, diamonds are the currency. Emergency fire cooler. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is going to be for me when I fall in. Let me use my free cam and I can show you this obelisk. We are loving how this looks. It's exactly centered on our library back there. It kind of looks good with the Enchanter's Tower off to one side. I've got my render distance quite low. Let's bump it up to 33. My frames are going to go crazy. Actually, I've still got 60 frames per second, so that's not too bad. So we should be able to load in a little bit of the library. We're going to have a look and peek inside the library as well, because we're trying to improve our super sorter in there. And there's the Enchanter's Tower. But look at this. Every little armor trim. You've got um, Spire there and Tide, I think it is that one there, Rib. And let's see if I can remember any more of these. There's that Wayfinder, I think. Or is that Wayfinder? I can never remember. <laughs> and that one's I. Can anyone else remember all the names of all the armor trims? We love these little patterns, though. I think they look so, so cool. Do you know what? Sarasman has actually redesigned this one as well. I designed that one, but she's redesigned it. And we'll go and have a look at that in a second as well. And there's a netherite ingot on that side. So down at this level, we have the armors, um, gold, iron, and diamond, which you can upgrade with the trim. Kind of a token effort of a anvil down here, of an anvil. Um, shout out to Duke for redesigning this. But massive shout out to Sarasvin, one of the chief builders on the server, for designing, I think, 10 out of 14 or 11 out of 14 of these trims. I think they look fantastic. And down the bottom, we've got a big hammer and another anvil as well. So if you want to download this entire obelisk, you can by becoming a YouTube channel member or one of my Patreons on patreon.com forward slash Andy is your You also get the trims and you also get this big statue as well. We think it looks really, really cool. A nice addition to a server. And if you want, you can actually build it with Light Matica as well, which tells you the ingredients list that you need to collect and it tells you where to place each block. So that's what we did. We designed it on Creative. So let's hop over onto Creative and I'll show you what you can get to download. Here we are on creative. So I have lots of schematics, lots of maps, worlds, kingdoms, lightmatics, all ready for you to download as a reward for becoming one of my Patreons and helping to support this channel. It's patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. So our first idea 
was to put all the armor trims onto statues and then build all the statues in survival. And then we realized that's going to take us absolutely years to do. So um, I'm giving away these as schematics and you could place these into your world. And I'm also giving away a one which is blank as well. And you could decide to put whichever armor trims on that that you would like. Here are the armor trims and the netherite upgrade ingot as well, or whatever it's called, trim there all separately so you can place them to decorate your own world. This is one of our other ideas that Linsidious was working on and me as well, Sarasvan. We just felt it didn't quite work out. I thought it's quite clever and it's something we might come back to. I don't know, what would you do with this? It was going to be some sort of big arena, some place in the middle where you could go and upgrade your armor trims up the stairs and so on. But yeah, it just didn't quite ring as true as this, the monument, the most awesome monument to armor trims in the game. We were even going to hang them down from banners from steampunk ships. Let me take you behind the scenes. This is where Sarasvan, this is Sarasvan's plot here. And look at this, isn't this, this is better, this one. I might have to update the trims to include that one because I think that is better than the one I designed, irritatingly. Sarasvan's just so good at these things. A bit better than that one, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Sarasvan, you win. You are the chief designer of everything, basically. Uh, so this is the obelisk that we took from our desert kingdom and we just took off the hieroglyphics and put on these armor trims instead and we thought that just looked absolutely fantastic. So that is a little behind the scenes of our design process. And I hope you, I hope you like this. Got little hammers here on the side, kind of like a little Elytra wings there. And I think this just looks so, so cool. So let's try and buy this one here, the Spire Armor Trim. So we're going to click this sign and we buy one of these. And there we go. We have it. We should have it. Yes, we have it. Woohoo! There we go. That worked. Thank you so much. This is the guy. This is the guy who sold it. So now we can go up to the smithing table. This is actually... <laughs> you're not going to believe me when I say this. This is actually the first time I've done this. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. That is pretty smart though. Let's grab it. And there we go. And then we can put this on and look. Face the camera. Armor trim complete do, do, do. where should we go first let's go over here we are redesigning or should i say uh duke and tex are redesigning something over here i know there's a lot of cherry trees right here we're going to have a redesigned um bee farm right about here it's all going to be completely redesigned probably a new house as well so that is ongoing uh, pretty cool bee farm the enchanter's tower has got the world's biggest growth problem on it <laughs> needs a trim of the vines maybe but that is actually working as well and on the inside in this little enchantment room here we have lots of books for all the what do you call it the things the upgrades <laughs> oh come on and they think of the word upgrade enchantments that's the ones you can enchant your stuff we're working on putting enchantments all over this room as well so you can come and enchant your armor as well as have it trimmed as well, which would be the ultimate. Saraswin's building her own house right here. And shout out to uh, Jax, I think maybe is there, who is um, an old friend from many years ago, 10 years ago in Minecraft as well. If you do play on the server and you're one of my Patreons or YouTube channel members, then you can get some free armor and basically a pack of toys to play with as well depending on which rank you are something else i should show you inside the library we have been working on the super sorter but there's still more work to be done because there's so many things to sort in minecraft it's actually kind of silly so down here we've got a sorter which goes on and on and on and on but it is cool it does work it does sort everything out here is all our dies sorted out right there. All these things, even ladders. So all you have to do is place things into the super sorter. For example, if I go and grab, let's see. For example, here we've got three purple wools. So what we can do is put these into the super sorter. I love how this works. 
like this, plunk them in here, like that. They're sucked into the machine, and if we fly back towards this purple wool, they need to go into this chest here. So if we climb up here, we should hopefully see them flying along the little channel here and in. So all we've got to do is wait for our wool. There it goes, the wool, woohoo! And it is down and into there. So was that all the wool? Hopefully that was all of it. Let's go and see if it has been deposited all three pieces. Three pieces, it sorts itself out. I absolutely love it, it's so cool. So that is this side. We've got woods and we've got redstone stuff on this side, but we've also over here on the yellow side got warped and whatever the ass that is. <laughs> I can never remember the name of anything in this game. Uh, warped and Crimson, that's the one, Crimson. All the stones, diorite, andesite, granite, deep slate, all sorted out. It does make building things much, much easier, but we are working on expanding the sides here as well. So we've built these stairs up here, and then we're into here, and this is where we're gonna have yet another section all planned out right here. In fact, I can show you the plans for this section if we hop back onto Creative. Found it. Here it is. This is going to be our new design on the end wing for another super sorter. So look at all the things we can sort out this time. The more unusual items, and we've got space for more items being added to the game as well. Back on survival. I don't know if we showed you the mine yet. Maybe I showed you in the last episode. Do, do, do. This mine is by Mad Russian. Thank you so much to Mad Russian. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Little portal on the front. A couple of cool little banners. And this is where you would come to do your mining. Well, not bother going down there, I don't think. But it's just a place where you would go down and find a nice place to mine. And then there's another sorting system here as well. So I guess you drop off your whatever you have mined, possibly up here and it all gets sorted out as well which is pretty cool so all these things can be sorted out here and this is maybe where you would come for all your ingredients as well really really good looking build absolutely fantastic look at that okay we'll go we'll, we'll, we'll go in i'm not very good at flying on these things but we'll go in ah oh that you can drop stuff drop stuff off there and it goes in and it gets sent up this little bubble tube as well up to the top to get sorted. So that's really, really clever. Let's see if we can get out of this place. I am getting better, as you can see, with the Litra. Sort of. The last thing I'm going to show you today, we're just having fun playing on survival multiplayer. It is totally relaxed. Survival.useTheBlocks.net if you want to come on and grab a plot and start building. Oh, these are the plots, by the way. The blue with the cherry tree, or the yellow with the cherry tree, or any colored wool with a cherry tree in the middle. That's a little plot where you could come along and build a little house like this one, and start to gather all the materials that people love to do. And up here in this enchanter's tower, I'm starting a little map of the whole out of the whole place as well. But I tell you what, building up maps. It takes ages, but there we go. The maps are getting built up. It does look like Google Maps. I love these little lines here which show you different shades of grass and things. And why is the cathedral two different shades? It's like they've been taken on different days. Mm, maybe they have been taken on different times of the day and you get different colors. I don't know. Is that what happens with maps? I have no idea. We're building up a big map of this place. And that is it. But really, I wanted to show you this. The big armor obelisk. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you would like this to be built in your world. 
do join my discord as well i'd love to uh, chat to you guys and also see some of the pictures of what you've been building in minecraft so it's discord.gg forward slash andy is your very simple discord.gg forward slash andy is your let's land up here shout out and thank you to everyone who got involved with this project very much appreciated thanks for watching take care for now ciao ciao with the blocks be with you